Gaudete Sunday is the day when we light the pink candle to represent joy. For the time of prayer today, why not wear something pink? A pink tie, pink hair clips, pink lipstick, have some fun and spread some happiness. Gaudete Sunday has for many years been the day when the children of Rome bring the figurines of baby Jesus from their family cribs to St. Peter's Square to be blessed by the Pope during the Angelus. The day is affectionately known as Babinelli Sunday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's Nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through your Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. A man came sent by God. His name was John. He came as a witness, as a witness to speak for the light so that everyone might believe through him. He was not the light, only a witness to speak for the light. This is how John appeared as a witness. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He not only declared, but he declared quite openly, I am not the Christ. Well then, they asked, Are you Elijah? I am not, he said. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? We must take back an answer to those who sent us. What have you to say about yourself? So John said, I am, as Isaiah prophesied, a voice that cries in the wilderness, Make a straight way for the Lord. Now these men had been sent by the Pharisees, and they put this further question to him, Why are you baptizing if you are not the Christ, and not Elijah, and not the prophet. John replied, I baptize with water, but there stands among you, unknown to you, the one who is coming after me, and I am not fit to undo his sandal strap. This happened at Bethany, on the far side of the Jordan, where John was baptizing. On this Gaudete Sunday, the third Sunday of Advent, as we light the pink or rose candle in the Advent wreath, we wait and watch and listen for signs of hope and the sense that God is near. You have to live Advent on your tiptoes, eyes fixed on the horizon to the east, watching for the first glimmer of dawn. Listening also helps because even in the depths of winter, birds can be heard to sing their song of hope, for birdsong always awakens the dawn itself. Their song is a tune of hope, for they know that the light and warmth of day are at hand even before we humans can sense it. Birds are Advent creatures. But we are Advent people, for long before the coming of Christianity to these shores, our ancestors had a real sense of the importance of light and hope, especially in the dead of winter. Think for a moment of the ancient burial tomb at Bruna Buigne, the World Heritage Site better known as Newgrange in County Meath. Dating from around 3,200 years before Christ, this monument is 1,000 years older than Stonehenge and 500 years older than the Great Pyramids of Giza. The true genius of this immense structure lies in how accurately it was built. Deep within its structure is a long entrance passage which leads to a central burial chamber. Later this week, as dawn breaks on the days from December 19th to 23rd, a narrow beam of light penetrates the opening above the entrance, reaching the floor of the chamber, slowly stretching the length of that passage, bringing warmth and light and even life to its deathly and silent heart. As the sun rises higher, the beam widens within the chamber so that the entire room becomes gilded with light its very stones beginning to glow and breathe. Our so-called pagan ancestors knew the value of light, for it brought a sense of life and hope even to their dead. They had the vision and faith 
to say nothing of the ingenuity to build the great structures which, even today, show us how deep their sense of God really was. As we draw closer to Christmas and the tender celebration of Christ's birth as our brother, we know that in him the greatest light has dawned upon our world, a light which will never ever go out. May the God-given light of our faith and the warmth of our welcoming hearts encourage those coming home for Christmas to come to us earlier and stay with us longer. For if the Christ of Christmas teaches us anything, surely it is that God enjoys our company even more than we enjoy his. The rose candle tells us that we need to enjoy ourselves too. So like John the Baptist, keep an eye out for an approaching light and an ear open for the sound of familiar footsteps at the door. That way, like John the Baptist, you too will be a witness for the light, a witness to hope. Whatever your age, let the child you are at heart stand on tiptoes, excited with hope and bouncing with joy. Enjoy the company you are in this Christmas and spread a little light so that no one is left alone. You may wish to sprinkle holy water on the baby Jesus and your family members and say this prayer together as the baby Jesus is cradled in someone's hands. God our Father, you loved us so much that you sent us your only son Jesus, born of the Virgin Mary, to save us and lead us back to you. We pray that, with your blessing, this image of Jesus might be a sign of your presence and love in our homes. Open our hearts that we might receive Jesus in joy, do always what he asks of us, and see him in those who need our love. We ask this in the name of Jesus, your beloved Son, who came to give peace to the world, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. You are invited to wrap the baby Jesus figurine in Christmas wrapping and place him under the tree to be opened on Christmas morning as the first gift of Christmas. On Christmas morning, place the baby Jesus in your crib with the rest of the Holy Family. Now is the time to light the rose candle, a candle of joy. God of joy, as we get closer to the celebration of the birth of your son, we remain filled with joy. We know that life often presents us with challenges and that it is difficult to always be optimistic and cheerful. However, we know that you wish us to be a joy-filled people. Help us to focus on our blessings, to be appreciative of the many people who support us, and to be ever mindful of your constant presence. As we approach the celebration of Jesus' birth, may the peace and joy of this season fill our hearts. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.